Hey, what's up guys? Um, welcome back to another video. This one's gonna be on my 56 wagon that I'm building. Hopefully do power tour this year. Um, this thing had been sitting a very, very long time. It had five gallons of water in the motor. Uh, you see I started lettering it up. It had no, you know, I'm gonna make it look like an old, I don't know, old cool race car type deal. Put some surfboards on top. I put this rack on. Um, it's got a 400 small block, 400 turbo transmission. Um, it's, uh, when I got it, it had no brake lines, no fuel lines, no nothing. Um, but anyway, this is the project. Just wanted to show you guys um, real quick how to put blinds in the back. So I'm gonna, I don't know, I like that look. So I'm gonna put um, some old school like Venetian blinds in there. I bought like a little kid off eBay. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to install them. If you have one of these wagons, you like the look, something you wanna do, show you how to uh, put them in, pretty easy. All right, let's uh, go to the back. All right guys, here we are at the back of the wagon. So you can see I marked my center, and then I've got two marks here. So this is the center of the window, and then I went over actually um, nine inches each way. I kinda like how that looks. I think that's a good setup. It said, it did come with directions, and it said you can do it anywhere. Um, so you find your center and you can do, you want this to be total between 16 and 24 inches. It's just, I think what you like um, and however you want it to look. So what I did on the outside here, I cleaned the window, just put masking tape, marked my center with a Sharpie on there, and then I did nine inches this way, nine inches this way, put a little mark, put a little mark. And that way I could see it, and that's where the uh, little vertical post will be. So we'll go inside, and I'll show you that, and we'll start putting it together. All right, guys, this is kind of what it comes with. You got, uh, I think it's six blinds. You get these brackets. So they'll just sit in these brackets here. These are stainless. They're really nice. Um, and uh, they should just pop in, and then... Thing. I thought these blinds came pre-cut, but it looks like they're all length, same length. I'm not sure. We may have to trim these blinds down to the length we need, um, but we'll install these where we want them on those marks that we marked a little bit ago, and uh, we'll start messing with these. See how it goes. All right. All right. So we're in the car here. You can see brackets kind of have. I don't know the way they're shaped. So these are gonna be inboard facing each other. The flat side I put outboard. I guess you could do it either way. I guess it depends however you like the look. But I feel like if you have the angle going towards each other from the outside, it gives it a little cleaner look rather than being like this. But either way, it's gonna look just fine. Um, it's got these tabs. So basically they just slide into your seal, which you know, this wagon's a little rough, probably rougher than some of y'all's, maybe better than some of y'all's, but uh, they silicone the crap out of this window and whatever, so it's kind of a mess, but we're gonna just stick it in and uh, see how it goes. But here's our marks. This is where we want our beams, our supports. Come in here about angle like that. Line it up at the top. And just kind of slide her in there. Get it right where you want it. Line it up with your mark. That one's in. Put the other one in real quick. Now I'm probably gonna grab a level so I can just make sure these are vertical because that will probably bug the crap out of me if I get these in and it's not. And I think it looks good and I get outside and I'm like, oh, it looks terrible. But that's that. Let me uh, grab my level. We'll level these up, and I'll show you the next step. Brackets are all in. They just, like I said, they just kind of pop in there. I made sure they're level. Okay, they're lined up with where we want them. These look pretty level. Okay, now the blinds themselves. I laid them out here, so they are um, different sizes. You can see here, so. You can see I have them in order. So at this end, I have them all lined up flush. And then um, over here, they're all a half inch difference. They start at like 38 and a half and go up a half inch increments from there. The shortest one, which I have laid out in order. Um, so the shortest one at the, here is your top blind. 
So we'll go ahead and start sticking those in and uh, from top to bottom and see how it fits and comes out. I might have to trim them, not sure yet. Top one, this will be the shortest one. Just kind of give it a little bend. Pops in right there, boom. Make sure you're about centered. Man, that fits real nice, about perfect. All right, go to the next one. Make sure you're about centered before you snap it in place best you can or I mean you can get as technical as you want with this you can kind of slide them once it's in there but I wouldn't I would just try to get it lined up before you snap it so again it just slides in and then you can see these have little hooks and so you slide that in get it where you want it and then just kind of bend it a little bit it'll pop into place but center it up between your window frame on each side best you can really long oh hey look at that grab the wrong one see I was just showing you an example all right get her lined up snap it in place just working our way down oh yeah these are fitting real nice there we go and these are kind of like just regular blinds but they're metal and all right, so this bottom one on mine is not fitting. It's uh, it's hitting on both sides. So I'm gonna trim that up a little bit. And then um, I may even trim this one. That's eh, okay, it's not touching. It's tight though. But uh, let me trim that up and we'll install this bottom one and then we'll kind of get an overall look at it. Okay, we gotta trim that one up. Just use the regular pair of scissors here. Trimmed up real easy, took about, I don't know, Probably about, oh, maybe half, no, no, probably about three-eighths of an inch, I'd say, I took off. Just took it off to one end. I basically just trimmed a little bit and set it and then trimmed it one more time and set it where I like it, just to kind of make this look good. But this is what it looks from the inside here. Kind of give you an idea. And then uh, we'll go around outside and take a look and see what you think from out there. All right, and here's what we look like kind of from the outside. Gives a really cool look. It just depends on the what kind of look or vibe or feel or whatever it is you're going for um, on your project. Um, I really like the look of the blinds. I think it looks really cool, just old school. Um, and it doesn't obstruct your view or anything. You can still see through there just fine. And uh, I like it. And with the surfboards, yeah, it's gonna look pretty cool. Yep, it's gonna look cool on Power Tour, that's for sure. Also, real quick, these are the kind of the tools that I used, and it didn't take very long to do this, guys. I mean, honestly, you could probably do this whole thing depending on how your window condition and whatever is, probably in, I don't know, 10 minutes. So, had a little alcohol and water, some blue towels just to clean the window inside and out for the tape. For the install that way you don't have to clean after the blinds are on and those blinds just pop out real easy so if you ever do have to clean the window super easy tape measure find the center of the window it did come with some instructions level if you want to level up your things or just eyeball it there's the tape and a sharpie um, I did use the scissors I, I, these are just a pair of smooth jaws in case I need to adjust the bracket that way I don't damage it. And some needle nose if you want to adjust them at all, just to kind of get them tighter or looser. Uh, mine were pretty good, but if you need to, there they are. I would have a pair of them handy. And those are the tools you may use, you may not use. Some you do need, some maybe not as much. All right, so that's it. That's the install on these blinds. I thought they come out really cool. I like them a lot. Hope it maybe, I don't know give you guys some insight on it if you want to install them or not how easy it is um, they're not super cheap I did get them on eBay uh, you can buy some for the sides too I only did the rear window that's all I wanted on mine um, I think they were a hundred and I don't know hundred and ten dollars I think is what I paid on them the guy does offers so you can put an offer in and 
whatever, pay what he wants, buy it now, or give him an offer and see if he takes it. Um, but that's the really good quality. Um, should last a long time, look cool. All right, well, um, let me know in the comments if you wanna see anything with this old wagon, my project. I mean, I've got a lot to do on it. I haven't been videoing anything on it, but if you do wanna see more of it, let me know. If you wanna see anything else, let me know. If you have any questions about this, let me know. All right, I appreciate it. Thanks again.